Verena Van Gogh, Verena the Picasso, v Verena, Verena, Verena the Painter, Verena. Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So, I need a new intro. I sound too professional. I'd rather keep it real with ya. Real hot girl shit. I just woke up like five minutes ago, less than five, if you can't tell by my voice. I always have like a really stuffy nose when I wake up. Me and my sister have a bet. The first person to leave the room without doing their makeup owes the other person $10. She already has her makeup on, she sent me a Snapchat, so I can't leave my room, y'all, or else I have to give her $10. I don't even feel like doing my makeup, like, what? I wasn't even gonna record a video until like a few hours later today. But if I'm about to do my makeup, you know? You know, it's so cold. I actually, I always have morning sickness. I'm not pregnant. I've been breaking out really bad recently. I'm not sure why, but I love how my entire t-shirt is lit. Like there's more lit on my t-shirt than there is design. Oh my gosh, look, there's a little cat eating ramen on my shirt. It's like, no, God couldn't be like, here is some acne. No. He gave me the painful ones. What karma am I paying for right now? I have to do some stupid makeup because I made this stupid deal. I'm going for the lip gloss and mascara Twitter look, you know? Did I do eyeliner? No, I literally just woke up. Why? <laughs> uh, how did I used to do this before school? I don't want to put eyeliner on. You know what? I'm just going to put eyeliner on. Ready, guys? One, two, there we go. I did makeup. She literally can't say shit to me. I don't want to hear it. Oh, let me first of all explain why we even did that. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about, like, damn, we're so lazy. Talking about how when we get ready in the mornings, we just feel, like, more ready, like, when we do our makeup, blah, 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 whatever. Actually, I was like, okay, whoever doesn't do their makeup in the morning owes the other person $10. Here we are. <sighs> Honestly, that kind of worked. I do feel better. Like, I feel more ready for the day. Like, I could put an outfit on right now. Before, I would have never put an outfit on. Ooh, for eyeliner. Don't be shy for summer. Don't be shy for summer. Oh my god. <laughs> this stupid song. <laughs> this stupid song. <laughs> I was just, I was just vomiting my guts out. And the song was on fucking repeat. So here I am, in, face in toilet. In the background, it's like, looking at me, I know you want to fuck me. I'll give you this to give you, if you lucky. I'm out of breath. <sighs> Bye. It's like about to be 8 p.m. I've been procrastinating recording a video because I know I have to upload tomorrow. Like this is literally the day, the ooh, the day before this goes up, and I'm just having like an off day. Like I don't know why I can't get my shit together right now. So I got a. This isn't for you, sir. I got a strawberry sprinkled donut and my favorite drink from there. And I am going to record a painting video and we're going to talk about mental health and stuff like that. No, actually, I literally hate watching my painting videos back because you guys tell me that it's good advice. But like listening to myself being all like preachy and stuff, I like watch it back and I'm like, ew. <laughs> okay, so maybe it doesn't help you, but it helps other people, you ugly brat. Don't comment on my videos. Okay, that's so I have like a few paintings that I started and never finished actually so I think today I'm going to pick up on one of those instead of starting a completely new one. Sorry, I can't connect to Bluetooth. Please try again later or connect via the Bluetooth settings page for your device. Yeah. So it's 9.30 so we're probably going to stay up doing this um again before i start um answering questions i'm gonna go ahead and like outline where the shading needs to be on this i took a little reference photo of my own hand to see like you know you know i just need to focus on one spot at a time because if i try to do like all the different shading like right now it's just not gonna work out 
so i'm just gonna go over it with white once again hope you guys have your canvases and paints ready to paint with me and once again i will be reposting y'all painting with me the first question i'm gonna answer because this is this seems to be the most asked one is how to get over someone or how to deal with a heartbreak how to heal from a toxic relationship all all of those variations so i actually just gave advice about this on my instagram story the other day so i'm gonna kind of elaborate on that and go more into depth first of all i just want to say i know some people might disagree with this and they might think that this isn't like a healthy way of coping but personally this is how i got over my breakup and this is what worked for me so i will be sharing that take what you will maybe the biggest thing that i struggled with and i know like for a lot of people too is like why like why would they do this to me why would they treat me like this like why did this happen you know and you can keep asking yourself why all you want but you're never gonna get an answer ever and you need to be okay with that you need to be content with that you'll never know why because you're not on the other side and you never will and that's okay because the important part is what your intent was hold yourself accountable for the things you did wrong but and once you make peace with the fact that you're never gonna know i promise it gets easier from there should i do um a brown or green eye um we'll do like hazel yeah let yourself feel the emotions like it's okay to be sad personally i would say give yourself two weeks take however much time you need i say give yourself two weeks to fully feel the emotions like cry it out like scream yell do whatever you want to do like however you like you need to cope with it break shit i don't know feel it be angry be sad feel all the emotions you want to feel but but you can't keep doing that forever eventually you need to pick yourself up eventually you need to stop thinking about them eventually you need to forget like life goes on and life isn't gonna wait for you you need to pick yourself up and go with the pace i'm gonna be really upset if this looks like shit so personally what has helped me in the past is a lot of self-care and a lot of spending time with yourself and a lot of dating yourself and i'll elaborate so when i say start dating yourself i mean take yourself out to lunch alone go buy yourself something nice every once in a while just like you would do for that person buy yourself flowers and actually keep up with it flowers are like five dollars at a grocery store guys once a month go get yourselves a bouquet of flowers treat yourself feel like just feel do things to make yourself feel good mate do things to make yourself feel pampered you are your boyfriend you are your girlfriend you are your significant other and you need to take care of yourself and uphold those standards as if it was an actual relationship and i cannot i cannot stress this enough you guys and i know it's easier said than done do not do not look at their social medias not once you're literally setting yourself up for failure you're setting yourself up to get hurt just don't do it like you know what you're going to look for and you're gonna find it and it's gonna hurt you forget finding anything either like even just going out of your way typing in their name wondering what they're doing like that's so draining who cares they're not yours anymore it's not your responsibility it's not your worry like you, you don't care they don't exist who i don't know don't ask about them if you guys have like mutual friends avoid them being a topic of conversation at all oh how are you doing with that and like that's nice but just respectfully shut it down whenever someone asks you what happened just shut it down respectfully or like if someone comes to tell you something about them like for example like oh my gosh i saw so and so at blah 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 with blah 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 you can be all like damn that's crazy <laughs> and hopefully they get the hint but if not if they don't get the hint and they continue speaking just straight up be all like actually i don't really like talking about them can we change the subject like who cares and when you set boundaries like that and have respect for like what you're willing to put up with and talk about it's like it'll become more apparent to other people and they just like won't bring it up anymore i know it's easier said than done to shut the conversation down and i know you might be curious and you know and you might want to hear it but like i'm telling you if you shut it down and you don't find out what they were about to tell you you're gonna feel so good about yourself you're gonna feel so proud you're gonna be like wow like that was like growth that was an accomplishment like what would have been all like yeah where were they with who hmm interesting you know like just do yourself a favor you're gonna feel good about it overall the less you talk about them the less you think about them and it's okay to rant to your friends it's okay to be upset about it it's okay to be sad and it's okay to want to talk to someone about it but if you feel like you're just bringing them up to talk shit or if you're just bringing them up to be like, wow, wow, 
just don't <laughs> put their name out of your mouth as much as possible it's literally a hack guys i promise you it's easier said than done but pretending like they don't exist is literally a one-way hack to getting over the breakup like it's literally a cheat code i swear you choose your destiny by what you choose to talk about invest your energy in think about do like it really all boils down to you sadness is comfortable sadness is easy because it's familiar once you become better you will find better and you'll you'll see trust me trust me eventually there's gonna be a few days where you don't really think of them out of the week you might think of them twice a week and eventually you're not gonna think about them at all and you're gonna be like whoa damn and you're gonna be so proud of yourself and it's a really conquering feeling and you got this and i believe in you that is the best advice i feel like i can give for now for breakups just know that it's really gonna get better and i i wish i could just hug you all that are going through this because i know how hard it is but just trust me the rediscovery process for when you start loving yourself seeing that spark in yourself again it's amazing and i can't wait for you to get there to be honest you guys I think this is gonna be one of the paintings that I want to put like more detail into so I don't think that I'm gonna finish this in this video maybe I'll like finish it on another video but I really want to take my time on this what type of content are you actually interested in but aren't bold enough to do I'm actually really glad you asked this question I really really want to make videos about spirituality and crystals and meditation and shadow work and all that I think I had like my spiritual awakening like freshman sophomore year of high school i had health issues so i was always like at home just in my room you know i had a lot of free time and i had a lot of time to myself to like think and discover and wonder and ask questions you know but you guys should always ask questions take something and learn something from everyone you meet like i feel like everyone you meet or come across has something to offer or something valuable to like teach you yeah i really i do want to make videos like that and a lot of you guys ask me and i want to so bad but like part of me is just saying like no like maybe you shouldn't and i also feel like i might be giving the wrong information or information that i don't know like i'm just scared to say something wrong people kind of look at it as a trend spirituality really isn't a trend and i know it's like who cares like just make the videos that you want but i don't want people to be like oh like she's just following a trend like and a lot of people say that spirituality kind of clashes with Christianity. A lot of people say that spirituality is like Satanism and stuff. And I honestly disagree and I don't really want to get on that whole topic on YouTube, you know. I think I'm going to keep to myself for a little bit. And I think once I feel a bit more comfortable doing those videos, I will. Because you guys ask me for that all the time. And I feel so bad not delivering, especially because I really, 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 really want to. But I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable doing so yet. Or maybe I can like start off small with like stuff about shadow work and meditation and stuff you know we'll see how does it feel to be a big representation for the brown arab community on youtube i love it so much like it genuinely fills me with joy and it's like it makes me so happy when little middle eastern girls dm me and they're like feels so good knowing that like i have you as representation and it. it just it feels good because like when i was little i didn't really have anybody to look up to on youtube other than lily singh superwoman and liza koshi those were like the only two brown girls on youtube that were big and it was like I don't really have any representation so being able to be that for younger girls now is like super like how tall are you you radiate tall girl energy that's like the best compliment ever but i'm actually 5'1 how do you deal with your ocd i've been really struggling with mine talk more about your ocd if you're comfortable okay so i got a few questions about my ocd i think i've posted about it like once basically let me do a little story time so i have like cabinets in my upstairs um hallway every time i would pass by those cabinets i would have to count one two three four five six and if i didn't count six i would literally have to walk back and recount them and then the same thing with the stairs in my house i would count the stairs and it, if it wasn't 16 i would literally go back up the stairs and recount i don't know like i just have like a thing against odd numbers odd numbers literally trigger me and if i didn't go back and count i would think that my family was gonna die like that or if i like flipped the light switch up and down it had to be on an even number or it had to be like on a specific side up or down i don't want to say it gets in the way of the way i think do things now because i've like obviously learned how to cope with it since i was a child and like it's not as bad as it was before i started going to therapy in like sixth grade and my therapist was just explaining to me like how to control when i feel like that he told me every time i feel like for example with the light switch like put it on an odd number or like on the on the side that i don't like, like force yourself to do those things and then you'll see like oh my mom didn't die 
<laughs> like she's okay and slowly but surely like that worked like it takes time but like it did work and I would say honestly like my OCD is not bad at all anymore I do still have things here and there like with odd numbers and but yeah that is how I coped with it it did take a lot of time and it wasn't easy I know the anxiety that comes with it when when you don't do what you need to do like you feel in your soul like I need to flip this light switch as time goes on in the day you're gonna forget that you didn't flip the light switch it was definitely really hard for me as a kid to try to regulate those emotions and that anxiety but like it's really easy for me now so I think that might be something I haven't shared with you guys I don't think I've ever said on YouTube that I've struggled with OCD ever I think I've just said it once on TikTok, like made a joke about it. How can I stop trying to change myself for guys? This is kind of like a vague question. I don't know if you mean like personality or like the way you act around them, but what I'm gonna tell you, oh my gosh, I need to start painting. I'm just talking. If you have the balls, do this with a guy you like and it will literally change your entire life. What I'm about to tell you, literally just disagree with everything he says. <laughs> If he's like, my favorite food is shrimp, be like, shrimp is fucking gross. And it's really good practice. It really is. It's just good practice for being able to vocalize like the opposite. Just be confident as who you are as a person and what you have to offer. Also be confident in your likings, your dislikings, your opinions. Be confident in everything you say, like, you know? Be the girl that makes the guy change for you. Don't change for him. Also, Point being you can't change anyone you can't make anyone change. I, I just need to reiterate that. That's not what that means Never try to change someone. Ah Okay, um, so I just added some details to the fingers. I added detail to the eye But I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, that's all right. I guess I'm just I haven't been feeling this painting since I started it I Feel like people don't realize like it's never too late to change the narrative Every day is a new day and every day could be a new you. Literally, everything about yourself, everything about you is just a recollection of memories from the past. The past isn't even real anymore. It's not here. We're in the future. So you get to wake up and choose who you want to be. For example, like if you think of yourself as pessimistic or negative or you're a procrastinator, literally you could just wake up one day and be like, no I'm not. I'm actually this, this, and this. <laughs> and go based off that for the day. I also said this on my Instagram story a few days ago about how like look at life as like a game of episode. If you've never played episode it's basically like series and you like pick what the character does next and you like get to dress her up and like pick what she says to certain people. You know it's, it's like a, a, a choice game. Honestly I'm kind of over this. Like I don't I don't like it and I don't want to do anymore. Like I'm over it. I'm annoyed. I know this was kind of like a shorter painting video but I feel like like the advice I gave made up for it. Anyways, I hope my advice helped to some capacity to some of you and like I always say, my DMs are always open if you need me. I try my best to reply. If I don't reply, please don't take it personally. I just can't reply to everyone. I feel like I should mention this now. I'm coming out with Valentine's Day merch soon. Some self-love Valentine's Day merch. Stay posted. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. They're all the same. Had to do a little self-promo real quick. Sorry. Anyways, okay. Bye, guys. Love you. <laughs>